to another episode on the Growth Project Podcast. My name is Sharice and I am your host. On the podcast, we talk all things growth related, spirituality, mindset, relationships, and more. Uh, We talk business, we talk money, we talk anything that will help us level up, awaken our minds, our spirits, and truly ascend during our time here okay i like to call this earth school and i feel like you know we come here to learn something we come here to um go through a series of things that we already kind of like know that we're supposed to go through and our still our soul still volunteered to come here to learn to upgrade to ascend and this podcast is helping you do all the things, all of that. So thank you guys so much for joining me again today. And we are going to dive right into today's episode. So um, actually, before we dive right in, um, I have to tell you guys this because I have been working with astrology now for over a year. So I've been studying astrology and um but I've been really like working with it and seeing it in my life and using the energies for certain things like um as of lately and something that I found really really interesting is that literally um when like Pisces season um was around which was February I was really taking my time to like delve into myself meditate go within and like I wasn't forcing myself to be as like productive I was really just letting myself just rest have all of the time off that I needed and really just focusing more on connecting with myself and connecting with my inner self so that I can get ready for the new energetic year that was coming. So if you're listening to this um, in real time, happy new year, happy new energetic cycle. The sun has moved into Aries like a couple days ago and um, I'm already feeling this sort of like boost of energy and I feel so much more well I knew not that I knew but like I was hoping that this would be the case because during um, Pisces season I was really feeling like I was unraveling I was tired I was low-key like I don't even know if I was paranoid or if I was having panic attacks like I don't know the spiritual energy was heightened and I wasn't feeling well and I decided to do a huge detox and I feel way better now and um, as soon as the sun moved into Aries which is my rising I started feeling way better way more motivated and this was part of my plan of launching um, something during like the Aries during the Aries um, slash Taurus seasons because those are like my first um, like I said my rising and my first house and I knew that I was like "Mm, all eyes are gonna be on me the sun's gonna be there like it's gonna be energizing so I really wanted to launch something during that period so keep your eyes out for something on my Instagram that's gonna be launching within the next month or so but but something that was crazy like I said was as soon as like Aries season started like building up I got my two like long-term clients i got long-term clients reaching out to me and um i signed one of them i already started with them and the other one it's still in works and i just found it i just find how things go truly with the energy and you know divine timing is is real and yeah different energies like just affect us different ways and yeah i just found that really funny that like (laughs) <laughs> the two people were like yeah I need I need motivation I need to be more consistent I need um to to be pushed I, I want to do this like I want to go uh, go past my fear and everything like that and very very interesting that like those things were coming up throughout the end of like Pisces season and the beginning of Aries season which is like the end of the year and do you know like how during the end of the year you have that feeling where you're like ramped up where you're just like oh my god I didn't do my goals like I have to change something needs to change 
it's literally the same thing so yeah just a small little thing i wanted to tell you guys um because i'm really starting to see how the energy is playing out in real life and you know i'm i'm not to the point of making too much predictions yet but i am using this energy for me i use my astrology for me and um i use it to I used it to launch my business. I'm using it um, in terms of when I'm like launching certain things with certain energies. I'm also um, thinking of like, what is the energy trying to teach me at this point? How can I implement it in my life? I look at the transits. I look at the planets that are playing um, that are closer to us, whatever. I look at all of those things and I really like, I feel guided by it. Um, it's not like the end all be all for me, but I feel very, very in tune and very guided. Um, another thing too, is that I'm an Aries rising and Aries is the first sign of the chart. And it really like, usually if you're an Aries rising, we call, we tell you that like, you know, you have a natural chart because your chart is set up in a way that it's like, that is how the chart usually like, that's the natural chart. So what that means is that like when things are actually happening and ener- happening energetically, we actually feel things doubled. We feel the energy very potent and we feel it like doubled um, because we have the natural flow of the chart. Um, when things are happening, for example, in like Libra or like Mars is in Aries or something like that, we feel it and then we get a double dose of it because like it's in our first house where it's supposed to be so other people may have like aries in their fifth right so when mars moves into aries for them they'll probably you know have like be more expressive uh more creative no no not because it's in their fifth house but since like for us it's in our first house where it's supposed to be like i'm saying supposed to like with quote marks you know, we are going to feel the themes of Aries, which is like the I am, the motivator, the the pioneer. And we're going to feel that in our first house of like the house of ourself, of our motivation. So it's really like we're with the times. That's what I like to call it. Aries rising, you're with the motherfucking times, okay? And I like to... I'm not saying like <laughs> I'm I'm the one to follow, but I'm just saying that like... I'm with the fucking energy like I realized like some time ago and like not perfectly but a lot of times I'm on point like I'm with the flow I'm with the energy I'm what I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing like sometimes I get these readings from um from these great astrologers and everything like that and they're like yeah did you do this like what happened last year did you open a business did you like and I'm like yeah I did I did and they're like oh I'm seeing something for you this year with with this and that and I'm like yeah that's like in the works like that's that's what I'm planning and it's always so like for me I get these readings for confirmation at this point because like I'm like damn I'm with the fucking times like I'm with the energy like I'm I'm understanding how to read it better I'm understanding how to implement it in my life and also I am going with the flow like I'm surrendering to what the universe wants for me I'm surrendering to my soul I'm letting it lead me and it seems that it's leading me in the right direction. Like, I obviously, I don't think my soul would mislead me, um, you know, compared to my old way of living, which was through logic and mind. Like, if anything, that's way more more misleading. But all I'm saying is that for me, it's just so confirming that, like, I feel very trusted. Like, I feel, like, very secure and very like it's weird because how like a lot of people feel like they can't let go of control because that feels so scary and it seems like for me I'm feeling security in the unknown like it's scary and like on most days I still don't know what I'm doing but I'm putting one foot in front of the next foot and like I'm getting somewhere (laughs) and I'm learning so much and like yeah like yeah 
I just wanted to 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 put that out there. But so so crazy everything that I'm learning about astrology. Um, like I said, I read my own chart like I read my chart like every single day I look at my transits all of that like I'm even um investing in like astrology courses and honestly like I am like very self-learned okay so like I'm self-taught so I teach myself as if I was a student and maybe that's Sagittarius in me, but I am a student of life and I learn from people, okay? I learn from people and I learn from life and I learn from people's experiences and I learn from experiences in general. And my teachers, I feel like Sagittarius's naturally find the best mentors for themselves because we are essentially a mentor and a mentor knows what to look for in another mentor. And I learn from people, you know, whether or not like, I learn from people's free content. I learn from every time like someone gives me a reading, I learn from them. Like I realized that because I didn't know that like I was like this um, until like I got someone else a reading and they were like, oh, yeah, this was good. Oh, she said this was that. And, that. and I was like, OK, perfect. Do you have the recording? Because I want to re-listen to it. And and every time like I re-listen to these things, I learn and like I and what why that is so exciting to me is because I feel like I always choose the best teachers I always choose the best teachers or I choose the teachers that fucking align with me and I learn from them and I absorb their 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 knowledge and their intelligence and their energy and when people are like telling me like you know they just don't know what to do or they don't know um the things or that they they'll have to pay so much money to learn something that's always to me it's like i get it like i know why you think that and i know that society like pushes this idea that you can only learn something from a specific institution but i'm telling you maybe like i said maybe it's a sagittarius in me but you can learn from people, you can learn from experts, you can learn just by observing, just by reading, just by like researching by yourself. Yes, it's always um, great and amazing to, you know, further your knowledge and receive higher education but you never have to wait for that you never have to wait for that i didn't start learning astrology by going to like an astrology um school or course or class i started learning astrology by googling astrology and by researching astrology and then i started getting i started investing in readings and all of that and every single time they would send me that reading or they will send me a writing of that reading i would go over it and i will look at it and i would look at the aspects and i would look at why did how did she see that how did they do that how did he get how how was he able to pinpoint this exact thing in my life and i would learn from that that was my class that was my school so that's why i'm saying like there's not one way to do something and really do the thing that works for you because right now at my my point where i'm with where i'm at with astrology like i'm getting these readings from these amazing people and they're like damn like you know your shit like okay like i'm obviously not on their level like they've been doing this for long way way longer and like invested way more into this than me but i am able to keep up and know what i'm talking about and that is and that was from self-studying and from investing in mentors and learning from people like getting my money's worth when i hire someone when i um book a reading with this person i'm gonna ask questions i'm going to re-look at the recording or re-listen to the recording i'm going to get my money's worth i'm going to get all the knowledge possible out of that and that is what i did and like a year and a half later i'm now finally like okay i want to invest into more astrology um like an actual course and, and and stuff like that to just uh see other little things that you know because astrology is amazing and it's like a huge rabbit hole so there's so many things like there's so many different ways to read a chart and all of that and like i want to start just knowing those things 
um just like that and you know have someone else do the work and you know just like consume it but I didn't start like that and I feel like because I didn't start like that I'm not just going into this class course or just gonna be like confused or whatever or just learning from the first time I'm gonna be able to truly absorb that information and if I have questions and all of that like I'm already gonna be I like I already have some sort of basis in which I'm going um into this into this experience with and I feel like because of that I'm going to take way more of it and and it's not to say like if you're just a brand new beginner and you do something like that like to each his own I'm just saying like this is the method that has worked for me so um it's it's like I I gotta stick by it I stick by it so if you guys are interested in astrology and you just um starting out and you've researched a little bit and you want to know how to read your chart what it is what does it all mean um the different houses the different like aspects what does it mean to have this planet in this house what does it mean my rising all of that i now offer astrology services and i'm so excited because like <laughs> one of my mentors she was like one of the best ways to like even you know continue um, like just upgrading your knowledge with astrology is to look at real life people and real life charts and um, start talking to these people and start like reading their charts for them and seeing how the energies just like play out in different people because this is going to also give you an idea of how the different energies can play out in different um, people based on different circumstances and different like um their their location and everything like that so um i did um i did a couple readings so far and they've went really really good um and you guys can find that information in my bio i have like um you know discover your blueprint with me and it is like a one hour call where we really go over your chart like i said and what um the different things mean and if you want to start learning astrology so i really want to make it very uh clear that this is if you're just like i want to know astrology a little bit better but i don't know where to start or I don't understand exactly what this means. Whenever I go look it up, it's too overwhelming. It's too complicated. I am going to simplify that for you. I'm going to show you how you can literally read your own chart and your transits and know what to expect for like next month or for your summer or for whatever. I can explain all of that for you. And you're going to really be able to like, like I said, feel more confident Um researching your astral your astrology learning more your astrology and even getting more readings and stuff like that a lot of time people get readings and it, it's really really great to get readings um even if you don't know your astrology because the astrologer will definitely help you um to understand more but if you're getting readings from a high level person and you just don't even know anything or you don't know like what anything means I just feel like it's not the best use of your time so um I'm truly offering this so that you guys can feel more confident um learning astrology and feel confident knowing what um everything means and how it comes out in you so that is the thing that I think is very very important as well it's like knowing that like oh well I have Mars and Leo perfect but what does that mean and how does it come out in you oh i have chiron here oh that makes sense because i'm insecure about this perfect so it's like once you know these things i feel like it's so much more easier to like either just channel that energy or overcome whatever it is and that is what astrology has kind of done for me astrology has been a self-learning tool for me um i have a like huge Scorpio stellium I'm Sagittarius so I'm always about learning I'm always about higher knowledge and add that with the Scorpio in the eighth house I'm always about learning higher knowledge about the things that are hidden you know Scorpio the things that you know 
we gotta dig for that people don't really truly know that's underneath the surface and um that is why I even come and talk about these things on my podcast and talk about things that people don't usually want to talk about. Talk about secretive things. Scorpio, talk about things that are um, taboo, you know, talk about all of those things. And um, it's truly, truly my pleasure to research these things and to to um, dive deeper in them because I find so much knowledge and so much gold. And like astrology when I learned my chart and when I actually looked at my chart and knew what it meant for the first time that shit gave me so much peace because a lot of stuff just started making sense all of a sudden I was like holy crap holy cannoli this makes fucking sense why I feel like there is a constant war inside of me between this and that and then I see that I have two planets in complete opposition in two in opposite signs that are literally always pulling me in two opposite directions and I get I'm like makes fucking sense you know looking at my chart looking at my seventh house my relationships saying like makes fucking sense why I'm always (laughs) at war like seriously guys book a fucking reading with me (laughs) because at this point astrology is a huge key astrology is a huge key it's a blueprint it's a map it just tells you about the energies that are inside of you the energies that were like basically enveloping this realm when you decided to come into the earth and because that you because you came into the into this realm at this specific time when those energies were in play you kind of like have those energies in you you understand you came into the world with those energies because it was at the same time and now what you can do with that is learn how to channel those energies for your highest good and for your highest purpose and for your highest money and for your highest everything. You know what I mean? Learning to chat like channel those energies positively instead of having it like sabotage you. Like, you know, like when people hear like Scorpio or Gemini energy or Aries, they 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 have like a negative um, idea about those signs. And it's because a lot of people don't know that they carry these energies in them and it's manifesting in a like a low vibrational way. And that's why people say like, oh, all Scorpios are like this, all Geminis are like this, all Aries are aggressive. And it's like, I'm not saying that they're not they're not it's just the way that the energy is coming out and because they are unaware of it because it's in the subconscious it's getting mixed with all of like the mind and the ego and the defense mechanism and it's coming off in the like in a low vibrational way but if you actually learn your energy and if you learn your blueprint and your chart and like what type of energy you have like embedded in you then you can now decide really and truly how you want to use that energy so instead of using for example your your scorpionic energy for controlling others or for manipulating others you can use that energy to manipulate like And maybe like manipulate is not the best word, but I use manipulate because manipulate is not a bad word. But you can use that energy to manipulate for positive reasons. You can use and okay, I get it. Instead of using that energy, for example, to influence people to do what you want to do, you can use your influence for a positive reason. You can use your influence to to help other people see their power you can use your influence for 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 other things and you know it's the same thing for example like with Aries you can use your aggressiveness you can use that Mars power you can use that to protect others to defend others to you can channel that into drive for your for yourself you can channel that into passion for your business, for your ideas, instead of just being verbally aggressive for no reason. You understand what I'm saying? So 
it's all about how you channel that energy, but you don't, how are you going to channel that energy if you don't even know that you have that energy, is what I'm saying, you know? And that is what astrology did for me. It opened my eyes to first my natal chart, my natal energetic blueprint. And then when you add like the transits, all of that, it's like, I can literally see certain times, certain periods in my life where a planet was ruling that period. And it makes so much sense what, why, like, whatever happened, happened then. Like, I had Pluto transiting my 10th house, and it's finally getting out of my 10th house, and I can't fucking wait, because my 10th house is my public, (laughs) public persona, my public area, my vocation house, and, like, Pluto was there, and he was in the last degrees causing chaos for me causing transformation causing destruction in certain areas of my life so that i can be reborn and be rebirth and as it is leaving my 10th house slowly it's gonna be in my 11th house um sometime next year i believe that by that time my public image my career is going to be transformed so This was just a little thing about how astrology can help you and how it helped me. And um, if you guys like this, I can definitely go, you know, more deeper in it and talk more about it and um, everything like that. But um, another thing, too, that I, I found very, very interesting was that as soon as I got into astrology and I started looking at like all of the people that like I attracted in the past like I noticed like certain signs really really attracted to me or that I would attract certain signs or all of or certain of my exes would have like the same signs or same energy or same thing so I'm telling you guys that this can help you understand yourself a lot more on a deeper level and it's truly how you choose to use it like you're not just your sun sign you're not just like this one sign you're like everybody has all the 12 signs in their chart this is a whole cycle this is a science this is a language astrology is the language of how energy how energy manifests on an end of on an individual and collective level throughout time throughout time how the influence of the planet's energies on our solar system has affected us throughout time in history if you like it is proven that like the moon you know the moon rules like women and it affects um it affects humans in general okay it affects human in general it affects our moods it affects the tides it's a it affects the energy on earth if that's just the moon, how much do you guys think that an actual factual planet energy and orbit can affect us as well? When the moon is out here like causing tides and causing us to be emotional and a full moon, everybody's aggressive and na 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 and blah blah blah. Like not to mention these planets are the like these Uh, these planets their body their mass is like i don't even know like probably thousands and thousands and thousands of times like bigger than the moon right so just there and even like okay the moon and then there's the sun right see how the sun affects us as well the sun affects life on earth seriously so why would we not think that other planets who are you know, just as close or just as far, or whatever, not affect us as well. Their mass is like so huge, and their energetic pool and all of that reaches us. Everything is fucking energy. Everything in this world is energy, and everything in our universe is made out of energy as well. So, all of these things affects us, like, not just our physical senses in this physical world affects us, like, a lot of things affects us, and getting into your astrology is really, like, understanding how you're affected by that energy, and how the collective is affected by that energy, and what, like, what are we supposed to learn in certain periods of humanity, of our life, of like the age of Aquarius, of, of those things? Like 
where is humanity going? You know, what are we supposed to be learning? All of this awareness now that we're having, all of this, uh, all of this like consciousness that we're having, it's not no reason. And you can even see that in the planets, in the charts, in the transitions. Um, there's even this crazy, I told, I think I talked about this here before, but in 2012, this is when I personally believe a lot of people started becoming awakened, like that first huge wave of people, because on what happened in 2012, we all thought we were going to die, possibly because of the Mayans calendar. And then there's, well, there's a theory that the Mayans calendar was predicting that that would be the end of, not the end of earth, but the end of an age and that a new age would start. And this is what we are in. We are in the beginning stage of a new age. So it's like we're in this period of transformation from the old to the new. We're seeing what what things we're going to take now from the past, from tradition, from ancient wisdom into the new world. And then we're going to gel it together and make like this new standard for ourselves. Because not everything in the old world works, but not everything is bad as well. Um, and we always need foundation, right? Capricorn. We always need foundation before um, we can we can do something new. You know, it's not just like fuck everything, burn it to the ground, restart from new. Like we could do that, but I think it's more of a transformation that we're going through right now where it's like we we're building our foundation. We're deciding what we're keeping, what values we're going to keep, what values we're bringing into the new world. But we're also pioneering, going towards the unknown, developing more awareness, more consciousness and like forging a new path for humanity for us all so um (laughs) i hope you guys love this episode talking all about astrology and energy like i said you guys can book a call with me go to my instagram at series fierce and it is linked in my bio um i do not know what the price is at right now i think it currently went up to 66 dollars but it's a huge deal guys so grab that um, chart and like I said, you won't find another person that's going to explain your chart like fully for you like this and to really break it down in simple terms for you so that you can understand and um, continue your journey of learning about yourself and your journey of self-discovery. So thank you guys so much for listening and as always, I can't wait to talk to you soon.